guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you my current favorites. I'm not like assigning this to a specific month because quite frankly I've been busy and I don't know exactly when I'm going to be posting this, but it's basically like a February, March type of a favorites. Um, so just things I've been currently loving. Kind of a few things, not like too too much, but I feel like more than normal and I really 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 love all these things so let's get started we'll start with beauty products and one of them is something that I have on my eyes today it is the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette this is like an oldie but a goodie I mean this palette has been around for a couple of years now and it was really really popular with Too Faced pretty sure they still sell it I hope so I the first time it came around it was limited edition but then I think they made it permanent it's basically just this really gorgeous eyeshadow palette it's mostly neutrals there's shimmers there's mattes they're really pigmented and blendable. They smell so good. I can't get over how good they smell. But if you don't like the smell of like peach gummy rings, then you wouldn't like it. Um, but I do. And the packaging is super adorable. And one thing I just love is that there's such a nice range in here. I traveled with this palette a lot during the month of February, actually. And it was so perfect. I could create like a very, very neutral look. I could create a warm look I could create a dark smoky look there's purples there's greens there's like a little bit of everything and I just have kind of like not that I ever fell out of love with this but fell back in love with it and have been using it a lot a lot a lot and I really think it's a staple for any makeup lover to have in their collection another makeup product that I've really been loving is this guy it's the Chanel Tan de Soleil cream bronzer I am not a huge cream product person in general but first of all this is Chanel so the packaging is just stunning and it has that really nice Chanel scent to it and it's this gorgeous light warm natural looking bronze and what I think really made me fall in love with this was I went to Hawaii in February for about a week and I pretty much had like a fairly minimalistic makeup look the whole time I was there and so there was like most days I would literally not even put on concealer or anything I would just do like brows mascara and like this cream bronzer and then maybe like a lipstick or whatever and it just looked so pretty and so natural and so nice it is pretty easy to work with despite the fact that I feel like cream products aren't easy to work with in general this one is it's nothing too harsh or extreme where you're gonna make a lot of mistakes and then even if you feel like it looks a little patchy it's easy to blend out I just think it's so nice for natural looking makeup days that's the thing I don't think this is necessarily on days when you want to have this full like snatched face with like contour and the whole nine I mean you can start it as a base and then perhaps deepen stuff up you know the blush the contour all that jazz but on like natural days and like for the summer for the spring as we're coming up I'm really excited to use this more I love it another favorite that I have kind of also as inspired by my time in Hawaii um, is this Jo Malone scent and it's called French Lime Blossom this is one that I don't think is as popular as like everybody talks about Woods Agency Salt everybody talks about Peony and Blush Suede and there's several others and I have and love both of those as well but this guy to me people sleep on this one it's called French Lime Blossom and honestly it smells kind of like sunscreen which I don't want that to sound negative but it's that very like springy summery fresh um, you know kind of how Tom Ford Soleil Blanc or Bobbi Brown Beach I mean it doesn't smell exactly like that because those are very 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 like sunscreeny summery this one has a little bit more of a fresh floral vibe to it but it also has some like sunscreen summeriness going on I don't know if I'm describing that super super weird but this was the perfect scent to wear in Hawaii and now it kind of reminds me of that and I have been continuing to wear it I just think it's so like I said fresh floral just a touch of floral and then like this summery beachy vibe to it and I really really like it and I think you should check it out French Lime Blossom the next two beauty products kind of go hand in hand. I don't necessarily always use them together, but it's nice when I do. And the first one is a lip scrub from Lush. So they've had lip scrubs for a while. They have like the bubblegum one, the mint julep, the chocolate, and then this was one that I didn't know was also in their permanent line, but it is. It's called Honey. They do seasonal lip scrub flavors a lot of the time, but I did not know that they had added a new permanent one so this says it has honey and tingling mint it really does smell sweet like honey I also really like the bubblegum and the mint julep scent but I ultimately decided on this guy 
and it's like a sugar lip scrub that literally you just put the smallest amount on your lips you can rub them together like that or rub it like this and it just like exfoliates your lips it sloughs off that dead skin and there's also like whatever oils are in here those will kind of seep into your lips and hydrate and then it sounds funny but I mean all you do to get it off is you lick it off because it's sugar and it's edible and it's just like a tiny little bit so it's nothing major I mean there, there probably are calories in it but like you know I'm not that concerned about it um <laughs> You could just wipe it off if you really wanted to but it's just easy to lick it right off and then your lips feel smooth and refreshed and like i said even just those oils in here will help hydrate it so i really like this but my favorite way to use it is then to follow up with this guy and this is the laneige lip sleeping mask this was something i got from sephora like a freebie online it's not the full size but i actually really want to buy the full size because I have fallen in love with this. So it's called the Lip Sleeping Mask. And I think it says it has... Mm, maybe I read online. It, it has like berries, like strawberry extract and all the... I think. But to me, this smells like bubble gum. Oh my gosh. It smells like such a fruity, delicious like bubble gum. Which I hope that's not a turn off. Because to me, that smells amazing. It's pretty thick. Um, it's a really really nice consistency when you put it on your lips look really glossy and in theory you're supposed to just sleep with this overnight and it's like a mask i just use it as lip balm though like i mean i mostly am putting this on at night but i put it on during the day too i mean it's thick and it's nice and it sinks in but not all the way like you'll wake up and your lips will still be like pretty glossy and moisturized from this but i don't know i'm probably not doing it service really but if you have dry lips or if you're just a person who like loves to have lip balm on at all time like that's definitely me i have a lip balm like in every room like i'm obsessed i have to have something on my lips this is really really nice i feel like especially for the winter and yes we're coming out of winter now but i don't see myself like stopping using this anytime soon my next favorite is pretty random but it's something that i felt like i needed to share with the world and it is this little rose gold beauty blender holder so this is from Amazon. I think it costs five or six dollars. Right now my beauty blender is actually drying. It, I washed it and so it's like in the bathroom drying. But it's just this cute little cylinder thing that every day when you use your beauty blender or whatever makeup sponge you use, you just pop it inside of here and it has a place to be held. I feel like that's a lot of people's problem or one problem people might have with beauty sponges is that they can be unsanitary. Where do you put them? You just put them in your drawer or on your counter or they're just kind of floating all around you know space and this a is super cute it fits like my vibe like the rose gold look to it and it's like a sanitary nice way to just store your beauty blender and like if it's wet so if you're if you washed it and you want it to dry it can sit right here like i really just love this thing uh i probably comes in other colors but yeah amazon i will link this i really love it and i really recommend it for anybody who uses a beauty sponge okay my next favorite is actually probably like maybe my favorite favorite and it's really random and weird but i just feel the need to share it with the class we got new utensils so i have forks here but we got the whole set, fork, spoons, knives, the small fork, big fork, blah, 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 blah. So we got a set that's in this copper rose gold color. And then we got a set that's in this matte black. Now, these are very trendy, right? I feel like everywhere you look on Instagram, you see all the cool trendy Instagram girls posting pictures with like a rose gold spoon with their smoothie bowl or whatever. And they're expensive. Like Target sells a set, um, World Market, Anthropology, like so many places sell silverware like this. And they're expensive. So what I have seen is pretty much the common trend is that a set of five, as in like one dining set, big spoon, little spoon, big fork, little fork, knife, is $20. That's pretty much, I would say, the average price that I've seen at Target even, Anthro, etc., etc. Well, that's a lot because you don't need one set. You need like multiple sets. Like I've, what's standard? I don't know, five sets, right? So five times 20, I mean, that's kind of a lot. So I've been searching and searching and searching Amazon and like CB2 and like all these different websites because I'm obsessed with home decor and I'm pretty well versed in home decor websites. So then I came upon these bad boys and these are from walmart.com. Now, 
I don't typically shop at Walmart, okay? It's just something I don't do. I have picked up things here and there, and yes, their prices are pretty darn cheap. Primarily, I feel like Walmart is good for things that you can get other places, but they sell it there at like a slightly lower price. But to me, I just prefer going other places, so I very rarely go to Walmart. I wouldn't necessarily seek them out for like their clothes or their home decor or stuff like that because I just feel like the quality that I've seen sometimes is not always there. But when I came across these, this came with a set of 20, so five, no, four sets, right? I think so. I might be butchering it. I will link these down below, but it's like four table sets of five and then this one also four individual sets and the whole thing was like twenty dollars so i got an entire 20 piece set for twenty dollars or like twenty two dollars and then i couldn't choose between the two colors and i was so happy that they were so cheap that i just got both and i couldn't be happier like we haven't had these for that long and they might be like slightly tarnishing a little bit i mean not even really though like nothing has like rubbed off of this yet I they make me like excited to eat my meals I know that sounds so weird but they're just like so aesthetically pleasing they're Instagrammable they're everything and they're just like really nice quality they're dishwasher safe like I really really love these I want to shout them from the rooftops I hope Walmart never stops selling them because like if anything ever happens to these I want to repurchase them I don't know why I'm so incredibly excited about flatware but I just am I mean after like I said even my tried and true Target sold this for 20 freaking dollars for a set of five I had kind of given up on getting like an affordable set and then Walmart really came through so I'm gonna stop talking about the flatware now but if you want matte black or coppery flatware that's trendy and cheap like check out Walmart I'll link it down below okay that's all my like product and thing favorites for the month next I have a book favorite and it would be girl online this is Zoe Suggs or Zoella, her uh, first novel. It's a set of three. It's like a three book series and I only read the first one. This was my February book of the month and I have a review up on it if you would like to check that out. So I won't talk much about it but I was pleasantly surprised. I like buzzed through this and I can't wait to read the second and third. I really love Zoe. I'm like such a fangirl of hers and so I probably like I would have supported this no matter what but I'm really happy that it actually was also really good um so yeah super good quick fun like beach read like young adult type of you know romance it was really good I liked it the next two things that are my favorites are media so we'll start with a movie and that is get out I had not seen this movie until recently and I had been wanting to because it had what like a hundred percent score on Rotten Tomatoes and it's been a very very talked about movie and then of course with the Oscars that just passed like it was nominated and then he won best original screenplay I think so there's been a lot of buzz about this movie for a long time and I really didn't know a lot about it but that's kind of the key you can't really know a lot about it because otherwise it gives it all away all I'm gonna say is like go watch the movie a lot of people are scared that it's like some scary horror movie it's not at all it's a little bit suspenseful and like a little bit creepy but that's not even like the overarching theme there's like way other bigger different themes that the movie focuses on and it also has a lot of like comical points in it it's kind of like a dark comedy in a lot of ways um, really good acting I don't know I like instantly fell in love with that movie I saw it and I was like this is one of my new favorite movies which is kind of a bold statement but I just felt it I really recommend it it's on HBO go if you have an HBO go account otherwise I don't know you can find it somewhere else on the interwebs but I really recommend it so get out if you haven't seen it go and my last like media TV show movie favorite is Queer Eye okay it's on Netflix. It's like a Netflix original, but most of you probably know that it's a spinoff from, I think it was TLC that had Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, which was on years ago. And I think I did used to watch that back in the day, but not super religiously. And the concept was just that these gay men were like giving makeovers to straight men. And it was in all aspects of life. So like they're grooming, you know, their hair and like the way they took care of themselves, their clothing, their like home decor, their their personalities I don't know it's like a little bit of everything so Netflix like revamped the series and they brought out five new 
queer eyes, like guys to be on the team. And if you haven't watched this, like, what are you doing? Like, you need to watch it. Like, I feel like it's a show for everybody. Like, honestly, like, I know several straight guy friends of mine who really like it. I really like it. I, I just feel like there's something there for everybody. Each of the five members of, like, the Queer Eye team have, like, their own individual flair. One does home decor. One does grooming. One does fashion. One does food like cooking and helping guys kind of like learn how to cook and then one is just like an overall like life skills coach kind of like helping you with like confidence and all that and a the show is on Netflix which means that it's not edited for like a tv series so like it makes it more real to me like there's some curse words and there's some kind of like real topics that it'll touch on and for me I like that it makes it more authentic and it's just really 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 funny but it's also really really heartwarming a lot of these characters or not characters people that they're doing these makeovers on have these really nice stories but it's not like overly cheesy it's just great and it gives you like really great like tips even as like a straight woman I'm like oh that's a nice tip or that like I just really love it the season was only I think like eight episodes which is not long enough at all for me I want there to be more but I highly recommend Queer Eye if you haven't watched it I feel like a lot of people are talking about it but if you haven't seen it like there's a reason people are talking go watch it Netflix last I'm just gonna quickly do some music favorites I don't want to keep you here for too long but I have been feeling a lot of new music um like I've been really jamming and jiving a lot of these are popular songs but I still like them nonetheless I don't remember if I put this in my last favorites I don't think so but I like me better by love or Louvre or however you say the name great song great vibe great beat great song okay um what else do I want to talk about? Camila Cabello, I have to admit, Havana and Never Be the Same. Like, ooh, I don't know what it is about that song. Both of those, but I would say I've been feeling Never Be the Same even more. It just like resonates to me. I feel it. I love it. ID Gaff, Dua Lipa. Mmm. I feel this song so hard. And I don't know why, I just love it. So good. So, so, so good. Also, Ignore Me by Betty Who. Okay, so Tyler and Hani, two of my best friends who were like my music friends, they love music, they introduced me to Betty Who and she is fabulous. I don't know, is it a she? I don't even know, but there's a song called Ignore Me that just, ooh. I'm gonna give you like two more even though I feel like I have a bunch more but I'm just trying to breeze through it so this one's called Rhythm of Your Heart by Mariana Trench my friend Tyler who's like my pop music soulmate sent me or like told me about this song I'm obsessed so I guess just last I'll talk about The Middle by Zed and Marin Morris Gray. I don't even know who that is. This song is like all over the radio but it's a good one and it resonates. I just I feel it. Take a seat right over there. So why don't you just meet me in the middle? In the middle. Okay, one more, one more, one more, and then I'm out. Okay, this one's called Never Over You by Rozzy. These are all artists like I had never heard of, pretty much, all these ones that Hani and Tyler taught me. This one is basically about like, uh, when you come to a point in a relationship where you're having problems, and she's just saying like, you know, we might do this a lot, we might do this, like right now I'm overdosed, like we've kind of like, been not doing so well but like I'm never over you like I never want this to end I'm not over you we just need to sort some stuff out and 
I love it. Sometimes we get too close. Sometimes we can't let go. Right now I'm overdosed, but I'm never over you. And we say things we don't mean, but I'm never over you. All right, that was a lot of music, and I didn't even have my speakers, so I hope you could hear those songs. But I just had to get them off my chest and share the love. I'll link them down below because they're all honestly really good running songs, fun songs. If you're into pop music like I am, check them out. Thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye. Cool. I really hate doing thumbnails. Like, I really do. Just this clip alone is going to take like 900 years. This was something I got a uh, loud truck. Like big spoon, big...